Hey guys, it's Vanessa here at Cake Style, and today I'm going to show you how to make this super awesome Mickey Mouse Zoom Zoom cake. The girls absolutely loved him, and I really hope that you guys like it as well. So I started out with two slab cakes. Now I've made my vanilla chocolate chip cake. I've done three batches in two pans. And then what I want to do is just cut them down so that they're only seven and a half inches wide instead of the nine by 13 inch that I started with. Then I want to line it up so that each layer is halved, which works out to be about one and a quarter inches for these. And now you'll have four layers of cake. Now I've made up some brown sugar buttercream. It tastes a lot like cookie dough, so I'm calling this my cookie dough buttercream with chocolate chips as well. And I just wanna stack this up with all of my layers of cake. And then pop this into the fridge for about 15 minutes. I've got myself a six inch round cake plate and I'm gonna use that as a guide to create the curve just along the edges of this cake on both sides. Then I'm just gonna take a bread knife. I really love this one and I will link to it in the description box for you. It cuts really, really easily. And you just wanna curve that around the sides and then the top. Right now I'm not working on the actual edges. I'm just trying to curve both sides of the cake. And then you wanna go ahead and shave down the fronts as well so that they get a curve. Now I'm adding a fairly runny coat of our chocolate ganache and I'm making it runny because I'd want to make sure that it locks in all the crumbs at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and do two coats. So firstly, I want to get on as much as I can onto all the parts and then it starts to set up really easily because the cake is so cold. So you can go along and keep applying more and it will just thicken it up and you'll be able to just use your spatula to smooth it out. Now I'm not going super fancy with the board this time because I want it to be all about the zoom zoom, but you could definitely decorate the board as well if you like. And I just want to apply a thin coat of sugar syrup onto the part of the cake that's going to have the black. I want to work on the black first, so make sure that there's sugar syrup all over and then roll out your black fondant. I use cornstarch so that it doesn't stick, but just bear in mind that black does stain if you get cornstarch on it. So I try and clean off my hands anytime I need to move it. Roll that over and then start attaching straight away, focusing on that end. Just stretching it out and then pulling it down. I like to use the heel of my pinky finger just to make sure it's underneath there. And then cut off a fair bit of the excess with a pizza cutter and trim up the top so it's a nice straight line. Now I use a craft knife with this as well just to make it a lot easier to get into the little crevices at the bottom. I've got a boning tool and I just wanna use that to really get the fondant underneath. You can even use it to cut away the fondant or you can take your craft knife afterwards and come along. But you just wanna make sure that it's really underneath that cake before applying more sugar syrup to the other section and rolling out some red. Now I colored this red myself instead of buying it, so it's a little bit dimply just from having so much food color added. It's definitely easier to buy it already pre-made, um, but I only needed a little bit, so I went ahead and did it myself. Same technique, press it all down with a boning tool and then trim everything up with your craft knife. It's better to cut off a little bit rather than too much, so I just slowly do it in stages and then press it into place. Now I'm gonna take some yellow fondant. It's done with an egg yellow as well as some white and I wanna make the cute little feet. So I'm just gonna press it down with my fingers, squish it and cut it with a pizza cutter. And it's kind of like a stretched out oval, but it's got an angle to it as well. It's kind of like a curvy triangle in a way. And I'm just gonna use some sugar glue to attach them, but you could also use clear alcohol or some water. Now I've got some beige colored, I used Wilton Ivory, and I'm gonna freehand the face. I kind of want like a love heart shape that fans out, and then the room for puffy cheeks. Always remember to check it against the cake and make sure that you cut off less rather than more. Again, I have some sugar glue, and I just wanna press the top half of the face on and get that attached before I work on those cheeks. 
a little bit more sugar glue and then curve it down underneath the cake again. Trim off any excess and it's really starting to come together now. It's looking so adorable. Here's my favorite Zoom Zoom. I would love it if you would leave a comment below with what favorite Zoom Zoom you would love to make a cake of. So I'm just gonna attach a big nose made out of fondant and use a toothpick to help stick it. I've got some pink and I'm just gonna make some little circles. Press them with my fingers to make them more of an oval shape and that will be perfect for his cheeks. Now I have a black modeling chocolate nose that I'm attaching as well as some eyes. The reason why I switched to black modeling chocolate is because it holds its shape. So that's gonna be great with this tail, which I'm rolling out. And then I'm inserting a wire, a floral wire into it to give it some sturdiness because we really want this to curve. Make sure it's cotton wrapped so that it's food safe and you can pop that into the cake. Now I'm using a large round cookie cutter to make those Mickey Mouse ears. I wanna give them a slight roll just to stretch it out and then trim some off to make it nice and straight. Now I'm taking some bamboo skewers and just cutting them down to size and inserting that in. And you can see how the modeling chocolate is fantastic for this because it stays up nice and firm straight away. I think the ears are the most adorable part for me and I was just so excited to see this cake cut up and enjoyed by everybody. So I hope that you liked this. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and I will see you with another cake video next Tuesday.